KXAN Shannon Wilson has the brand new video showing the problem that could put you at risk. They're in the ditches and you don't see them until they're in front of you. What the fuck? Slow down. What? what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Not today, sweet. Not ever. I did see a hog, and it's called Hogzilla. Yeah. And it was over in Georgia, but that thing was huge. Yeah. But it was over a thousand pounds, that hog was. Yeah. Yeah, everybody knows that I'm hog wild. Could you imagine the pork chops that come off a thousand pound hog? Because yeah. a hog will cut you down. And, the, and they root up and eat the roots, even off of trees. When they clear a place, all that's left is mud. Yeah, everybody knows that I'm hog wild. They eat the grass up, the roots in the ground. Well, they root, they rooting all the time. Yeah. They're basically trying, basically they're sticking their nose in somebody's business. They're like a roto rooter. They just rooting, taking that old snout and rooting down all the time. Yeah. Yeah, everybody knows that I'm hog wild. Let me tell you what, I drove by a Piggly Wiggly and I thought, I wonder what the Devil's Onion Ring's doing right now. Yeah. That's where the hog wound up at. After they excavated it, they took its feet to the Piggly Wiggly. One boar can eat one mile of corn in one night. Yeah. Good Lord, a hog can almost eat as much as the bird show. But you wild, but you wild, but you wild, but you wild. How you doing, buddy? Brought you all your favorite smoke. Come on, Mark. You gotta get over her. Ginger Mystery was just a girl. Besides, she's married. And even if it had worked out, would you really want ginger babies? Ugh, gross. Mark, you gotta give me something. You can do it. Come on. Come on, come on. Not today, say. What, 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 what? Sometimes you're better off dead. There's a gun in your hand that's pointing at your head. You think you're mad. Too unstable. Kicking in chairs and knocking down tables in a restaurant in a West End town. Call the police. There's a madman around. Running down underground to a dive bar in a West End town. In a West End town, a dead end world. Go, go, Mike. The East End boys and West End girls. I don't owe you a motherfucking thing, birds. And since you want to start in, I'm going live right on top of you. Too many shadows, whispering voices, face on posters, too many choices. If, when, why, what, how much have you got? It is a damn snapping turtle! I got to go! In a western town, a damn world. Ah! The eastern moors and western This is Billy Bob James letting you know that it's okay to get caught out there under the curfew. It's okay. You could be driving around. They're trying to get me right now, but I'm having to put the metal to the, the pedal to the metal. Not the metal to the pedal, but the pedal to the metal. I'm trying to get out there and I'm trying to go get my next victims of this here curfew. Today, 
you have been officially dismissed. Everybody knows what Chris does with his money. He got big, rich life. <laughs> Her and Chris do deserve each other. She got lover man, rich life. I had the weatherman call me. Miss Scott, where are you going without your shawl and not have fixed to set in? And how come you didn't ask them get them to stay for supper? You ain't got no more matters than a field hand. That's to be Miss Ellen W. Lavery with you, Miss Scott. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> this right here and you fucking bitches causing trouble with me you're going to get sued settle down now rich yeah you're going to get jacked up by my lawyer judge fucking bitch you need to let somebody fuck him in the ass hey this is the first time in a place like this can you at least show me the ropes yeah you're a goddamn lying cock sucking motherfucker is going to get sued oh you fucking retard motherfucking bitches no superstar. Nothing stops this train. Nothing. I put myself in these positions for five years. I've had diarrhea at the mouth, right? Is that what it's called? That's what I've been told I have. Two faces have but nobody cares to shut up and go see a therapist. Nobody cares what's going on in your life. Nobody cares what you've survived. Nobody cares what you're struggling with. No one cares about your breakdowns. Nobody cares about your buildups. I pretend that I'm happy. Shut up, I'm Mr. Blue. Shut up, I pretend that I'm happy. Shut up, I lost you. I'm hurt and I'm sad. Because someone that I loved so much paid attention to those women. Why am I still here? Because eliminating me apparently is a solution to these other women's issues. But if I cease to exist, then they'd be happy. I'm, I'm done. No! Truthfully, Trisha is done. No! God, please, no! No! I'm going for a sleep. No! A real long sleep. No! God! I've been trying to get the Yellow Jacket situation under control, and I have to go out and spray. I'm like, we still can't get in and out of the door. I had the professional industrial spray. I did foam spray. I'm going to have to get the bee guy, I guess. I haven't called him yet. Because I know, I mean, the quote, I'm just scared of what the quote's going to be. I will sell a bunch of shit and then call the bee guy. Because, like, I can't, there's, it's out of control. I can't. There's no way I can. Well, I'm not putting on a biohazard suit. But so, so, I mean, basically, like, there's, I, I watched a bunch of people, and there's ways to do it. But, like, I don't know. And I know I was allergic to some kind of wasps, but I've only ever been stung by a honeybee. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to risk it if I get stung. I really don't. They they swarm people. That particular type of yellow jacket. They legit like swarm people. If you, you know what I mean? They're aggressive and they work in little uh, swarms. I'm not, I can't do it myself. So I'm going to have to pay somebody to do it. And I can't live like that for, look at them all. Do you guys see them? There's probably 30 in front of my door right now. I, I think that's it. Oh, I'm a liar. Well, obviously I'm a scammer and an e-beggar. Don't forget that. I mean, that's the main one. At a little grocery store. I got a few beers, but we need some more. 
Walked inside and it was on right there. She threw my basket down and then she jumped into my arms. Kissing got so hot we could have set off their alarm. And I just smiled. Said, baby, I sure love it when you're with me. This is my first time making out in a piggly wiggly. That's working here He could throw us out Better buy that beer But it's hard for me To tell her to slow down And a real good story To tell back home We were at the pig And we got it on And the next thing That you know They threw us out She threw my basket down And then she jumped into my arms Kissing got so hot We could have set off their alarm I just smiled yourself they don't want to put your dick in a van <laughs> oh hell no that's the reality of america nicole did not beat me out of queen for real i took my name off of the ballot me i did that i took my name off of there shut the fuck up i've never said i was queen of anything but it sure burns your ass that everybody calls me that no one wants to hear you you're the queen of lies not today, Satan, Libby Live. You can go right to hell, you hypocritical bitch. I'll tell you something, Libby Live. Not today, Satan, not ever, Libby, you liar. You dog, you, you crusty old pepper. And though I treated you like a child, I'm gonna miss you for the rest of my life. How many of y'all bitches gonna walk like me? Mind your business. If you don't like me having a super chat, do something about it. I'm tired of listening to you run your yap, woman. For real, bitch. How about that? Because when I do my 10 hour stream on you, you're going to be embarrassed. Embarrassed. Embarrassed, says Mr. T, to even come back on the bottom of YouTube. How about that, Queen? You like that, Queen? How about that? mountains in North Carolina. I've had it. Yeah. Don't fucking play with me. Sitting up in the mountains in North Carolina at an area. You got it. Good God, why is it you have to bother me every morning? You got it. All right, I'm out of here. So much for your promises. They died the day you let me go. Caught up in a web of lights, but it was just too late to know. I thought it Hoes, hackers, haters, trolls, gangsters, quitters, panty sniffers, stalkers, and flip floppers, and queers, and shitters, and spitters. It's your motherfucking boy, the white Tupac. Not today, Satan, not ever when they try to creep in. Blinded by the light, wrapped up like a douche. 
another owner in the night. The T stands for Terminated. And all you bummers who joined T Nation and gave that Alabama bed slug money. I didn't do it. So that's the bottom line. You can put that on the board. Wrapped up like a douche, another owner in the night. accounts of real-life exorcisms from Catholic priests trained by the Vatican. They say they've seen demons in action. Stop! Trying to scare me! You're gonna bring your karma! You're not God! You are not God! You're not God! You fucking bitch! Pleased to meet you! Hope you get my name! And the whole I'm gonna lock my door at the car wash. Maybe some crazy people out here. She's short and skinny, but she's strong. Her first baby, come out sideways. She didn't scream or nothing. I'm gonna put some people out at night, you know, you never know. Everyone's watching. I gotta swim around for a minute. I'm freezing my ass off. Look at that coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. commercially and artistically. So listen, what do you really want to do with your life? Just briefly, to summarize. Don't tell me you enjoy working with children. I mean, I, don't, I really, I literally have no other idea. You have a boyfriend. I'm not interested in a relationship with anybody, and that is a known fact. Interesting. Torbeck? Don't do all this weirdo stuff. Do you feel fulfilled? I mean, in your life? I could have been something. I could have been a contender. I guess you could say I just want to have a meaningful relationship. I'm a spinster. I'm fucking fuming right now. 
right now. Come on, bitch, bring it over. I'm gonna fuck you up. You got it. Fuck you, David Baldwin. Run hell, you piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. For real. I hate you. She's into superstitions, black cats and voodoo dolls. I feel a premonition. That girl's gonna make me fall. Fucking cocksucker. You piece of shit. No good goddamn piece of shit. She's into new sensations. New kicks in the candlelight She's got a new addiction For every day and night She'll make you take your clothes off And go dancing in the rain She'll make you live a crazy life But she'll take away your pain Upside, inside out Living la vida loca Living la vida loca You're a piece of shit! David Baldy, you're a piece of shit! Run! Run! Who oh, fuck? Run! Welcome to New York City! You're enjoying a walk with your dog in the forest. Suddenly, your dog senses something and it starts barking at some bushes. All you can see is a snout and two big tusks. Your dog keeps on barking, the bushes move, and a big beast charges out. What are you going to do? Here's how to survive a wild boar attack. <laughs> wild boars look a bit like domestic pigs, but they have longer legs and dark hair, and some of them can weigh up to 136 kilograms or more. They prefer to live in deciduous forests, but recently, They've also started invading cities and trashing urban areas in Europe while scrounging for food. And if you get in the way of their food, they can come after you instead. How fast can a wild boars run? How many humans do they kill each year? And why is it so important to stay on your feet during an attack? A wild boar's diet is about 90% vegetation and 10% animal matter. And although it's very unlikely, they will eat a human if they're very hungry and have no other choice. Although they rarely attack humans, they kill up to seven people each year. Here's how to survive if a wild boar attacks you. Step one, control your pets. If you like walking your dog in bushy rural areas, stay alert. Barking can upset a wild boar and cause an attack. In 2020, a man in Montgomery, Texas woke up around 4 a.m. because his two dogs were barking. When the man went to see what was going on, his spotlights revealed a wild hog. An invisible fence protected the dogs when the wild hog tried to attack them. Then the animal charged him. So the man ran behind this house to hide. The hog thought he went inside, began slamming the house's back door, and broke the hinges off. The man shot the hog in the heart with his crossbow. Step 2. Run. If you see a wild boar approaching from a distance, try not to disrupt it and just run away. If the boar is at a medium distance, back away slowly and don't make any sudden moves. But if you have already provoked a boar and it's nearby, running away might not work. Some boars can run up to 48 kilometers per hour. That's faster than Usain Bolt. Step three, climb up high. Try to get up a tree or a large boulder. Wild boars have climbed out of pig traps with walls up to 1.8 meters high, so climbing up at least two meters should keep you safe. Then try to stay still and wait for the boar to go away. Climb down quietly, and if possible, go in the opposite direction to the boar. Step four, fight hard. If you can't escape and have to do battle, stand your ground and fight with all your strength and anything within reach. If you have a gun or weapon, aim to kill the boar because it won't give you a second chance. If you don't have a weapon, grab anything you can, including rocks, a tree branch, or your camping gear. Step five, don't fall. It's crucial to stay on your feet 
If you fall, you risk the boar's tusks stabbing you in the gut, arms, head, or neck. If the beast lunges at you, try sidestepping to avoid its sharp tusks. Step 6. Leave ASAP. Wild boar attacks may only last for a minute, so keep fighting until the mauling stops. If you manage to hurt the boar, don't attack it again. It might even fight harder if it thinks its life is in danger. And if the boar backs off, don't wait to see if it comes back. Leave the area immediately. Step 7. Get first aid. Wild boars can trample you, knock you to the ground, bite you, stab you with their tusks, and transmit diseases including tuberculosis, hepatitis E, and more. So avoid confrontation at all costs. Even a small scratch is enough reason to consult your doctor. Wow, I gotta head to the airport. I'm very excited to go meet Seasons. Um, I'm only hours away, hours away. I might have to wait, I'll never give up. I guess it's half time and, and the other half's luck. Wherever you are, whenever it's right, you'll come out of nowhere and into my life. And I know that we can be so amazing. And baby, your love is gonna change me. And now I can't see every possibility. I just haven't met you yet. How could you have me? Then would you ding? Tonight, we now know the identity of the man suspected of being the so-called foot sniffer, and he's currently being held on a charge of failing to register as a foot sniffer. CBS 4's Terry Todd joins us live. FIU officials say someone snapped this photo of a man under a table in the campus library in late August, apparently smelling the feet of a woman on campus. Terry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. <laughs> Long time ago, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Fit I'd been for Cotton Eye Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Fit I'd been for Cotton Eye Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Fit I'd been for Cotton Eye Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe?
Loving can hurt. Loving can hurt sometimes. But it's the only thing that I know. When it gets hard, you know it can get hard sometimes. It is the only thing that makes us feel alive. We keep this love in a photograph. We make these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes are never closing, our hearts are never broken, and time's forever frozen still. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans, holding me close until our eyes meet. You won't ever be alone. And if you hurt me, that's okay. Sixth Street, hearing you whisper through the phone. Wait for me to come home. It's getting bad out there. Open the fuck up! Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh hell no! There's a stranger in my bed. There's a pounding in my head. Glitter all over the room. Pink flamingos in the pool. I smell like a mini bar. DJ's passed out in the yard. Bobby's on the barbecue. Since you guys are clapping, can I can I get a clap, like a steady clap, like? Hey, piggy, 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 pig, pig. Hey, piggy, 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 pig, pig. Come here. Come here. Hey, piggy, 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 pig, pig. Hey, piggy, 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 pig, pig. Come here. Come here. All right. Now, when I say hey, I want you to say pig.
there are any men watching this, leave the room or put your hands over your eyes. Es ist dem Feind gelungen, die Front in breiter Formation zu durchbrechen. Im Süden hat der Gegner Zossen genommen und stößt auf Starnsdorf vor. Der Feind operiert jetzt am nördlichen Stadtrand zwischen Frohnau und Pankow. Und im Osten ist der Feind bis zur Linie lichtenberg marsdorf karlshorst gelangt. Mit dem Angriff Steiners wird das alles in Ordnung kommen. We looked around and then we found a man for you and me. And now it's springtime for Hitler and Germany. Deutschland is happy and Born in Tusseldorf, and that is why they call me Rolf. Don't be stupid, be a smarty. Come and join the Nazi party. Mein Führer, Steiner. Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Es bleiben im Raum Keitel, Jodel, Krebs und Burgdorf. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiners war ein Befehl! Wer schickt sie? Jeder hat mich belogen! Jeder hat mich belogen, sogar die SS! Die gesamte Generalität ist nicht zweiter als ein Haufen niederträchtiger, treuloser Feiglinge! Mein Führer, ich kann nicht zulassen, dass die Soldaten, die für Sie verbringen... Nicht als Feiglinge! Verräter, Versager! Mein Führer, was Sie da sagen, ist ungeheuerlich! Die Generalität ist das Geschmeiß des deutschen Volkes! Sie ist ohne Ehre! Sie nennen sich Generale, weil sie Jahre auf Militärakademien zugebracht haben, nur um zu lernen, wie man Messer und Gabel hält. Der Bo! Can you hear me? I know you're in there. Now come out with your hands up and you won't get hurt. Le Bo, don't be a fool. You haven't got a chance. I will count till three if you do not come out. Le Bo, don't be a fool. Prepare! To fire! <laughs> All right, Lebeau. At the count of three. One, two, three. Don't hurt him. He makes marvelous strudel. Oh, shut up. Fire! Let me tell you this, JP. Here's where the I'm a swinger come from. Because I had I had a you know a Facebook on my Facebook page, Bo Check, interested in men and women. The rumor going around is that you and uh, Mrs. Terry wanted to hook up with Lisa Lindley. Now that's a rumor that I heard. <laughs> not today, say not ever. And we were swinging. But I'm not fucking the guy. Yeah, just a swinging. Let's get to the good stuff and tell them the swinger story. I had a friend 
who was like a pillar of the community, and she looked like Sophia Petrilla from the Golden Girls. Blah, blah, blah. She reminds me of her. And she had sometimes erratic behavior where she would cancel on you. Just, like something was off, right? And I never quite put my finger on it. And she was always going, supposedly, on all these dating sites and going on all these dates. If you're like old and unattractive and you go to a swing club, even if you're a paid member, and they like basically cancel your membership. Yeah, I, I should be, but I'm drinking. Shut the fuck up. Drink the strong. Shut the fuck up. Who be a drunk and old slag? Cause she's a nasty bitch. Shut the fuck she's up. She's still making it now. Y'all, hold oh, no. on. <laughs> Y'all let JP talk for me. What I was gonna say is, if Mr. and Mrs. Terry were real swingers, they wouldn't need to be doing all this YouTube stuff. All they would do is go on Adult Fun Finder and meet people that lived right in their area, and they would disappear. Not today, say we were swing. Don't you know what it means to become an orgy guy? It changes everything. I have to dress different. I have to act different. I have to grow a mustache and get all kinds of robes and lotions. And I need a new bedspread, new curtains. I'd have to get thick carpeting and weirdo lighting. Of course, I'd have to get new friends. I'd have to get orgy friends. No, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> First at six, a bizarre case of assault and battery. It involves a man with an apparent foot fetish. The video gives you creeps. Police say the guy conned this woman into taking off her shoe, and they believe there are other victims. 7 Action News reporter Allie Hoxie spoke to that woman, and she joins us live now from Ferndale. So what is that woman saying tonight, Allie? Well, this woman tells me that her life is forever changed and that she now has trust issues thanks to a man who unzipped her boot, took it off and started touching her foot. And police say she's not the only one. I can't believe all this is going on. A customer at a business unzipping the boot of the woman helping him all while he records the encounter on his cell phone. But this is very frustrating already. He insisted she had a bug in her boot. Every step you take, I'll be watching you. Got your shit straight, you know? Reporting live in Ferndale, Ellie Hoxie, 7 Action News. You walk into this room at your own risk. Mr. T, a dull, argumentative big mouth who sets back the art of conversation a thousand years for something that will soon happen to him. Something that will considerably alter his existence. Because this is the Twilight Zone. In Vegas, everybody's got to watch everybody else. Fox is JP. And JP is six girl. And you got a right to your opinion, JP? You're a fan. You do have a right to your opinion, but you can't bring garbage and scumbags and losers right up on top. Beyond the sea. Nothing stops this train. Nothing. 